Warriors rise. Will there be an XRP Ripple SEC settlement on December 1st? This is probably the most important XRP video I've ever done. My name is Coach JV. I am the top health, mindset, and crypto coach in the world. Remember what you believe in your heart. You think in your mind will eventually become your words and become your reality. If you can see it in your mind, eventually you can hold it right here in your hands. What you repeatedly do gets ingrained in your subconscious mind. What gets ingrained in your subconscious mind becomes an unconscious activity. Think about that, Warriors. Think about that. Okay, so before we kick it off, Warriors, as you guys know, we are raising the price of the Academy at the end of November. The reason why is not only do we have access to my portfolio, access to a revolutionary exit strategy, multiple crypto calls, we have our 120-day challenge to get your shit together, and we're revamping our whole Academy based on feedback from our clients who have left the Academy. So what they were looking for is what is it? how to do it, and an example. And so we built out a whole crypto academy behind the scenes. We're going to launch on November 15th. DeFi, staking, exchanges, how to use exchanges. We're not financial advisors, not financial advice, but we're documenting our journey and helping you into this new quantum financial system. Okay, so now this is the most important XRP video I've ever done. Because what I'm so tired of hearing is all these YouTubers saying, I got the inside track. I got this. I got that. And then you get fudded out and you're so focused on this date, right? Nobody has the inside track, Warriors. We're all doing the same thing. We're all doing research. We're all trying to come up with the narrative. Will there be an XRP settlement on December 1st? I'm going to show you facts, figures, numbers, logic. I'm going to show you the numbers of the average settlement that it average that it takes to do a settlement. I'm going to show you the 43 cases that XR or that the SEC has put out since 2013. And I'm going to show you how this XRP case is all by design to bring in a new Howey test. Okay. You're all being fudded. You're all getting the wool pulled over your eyes. So all these YouTubers that are giving you all these predictions of when the case is going to get settled, I'm going to show you facts, figures, numbers, logic, and ask you to not trust a word I say, but do your own research. I'm going to give you the documents right here. I'm going to show you exactly what I look at. This is how I make my financial decisions. This is why I held on like a tick on a dog. This is why on December 22nd, 2021, when everybody started texting me, or 2020 saying, oh, I can't believe you did XRP. I can't believe you got me into this. Oh, I'm getting out of XRP. And I said, they said, what are you doing? I said, I'm holding on like a tick on a dog because this is how I do my research. So this is the most important video you're going to see in xrp history so check this out so this is an awesome uh this is amazing so this is www.stedas.hr uh, we got this is information from james Fallon on the Fallon law okay so we know on october 7th the ripple defendants responded to their sec request on uh, just october 8th ripple's response to the sec motion and what's coming up is november 12th expert discovery and deadline okay so what is the sec's job the SEC's job is to protect retail investors. Remember that as I go through this. Their job is to protect the retail investor. So would you agree that the retail investors have been damaged heavily with the XRP case? Absolutely. That's why we have top lawyers out there fighting for our freedom in XRP. So I think we can all agree that the XRP lawsuit has hurt retail investors. The SEC's job is to protect the retail investor. So let's look at facts, figures, numbers, logic, and share with you why I believe this case is all by design to bring in a new Howey test. Okay. I'm going to show you facts, figures, numbers, logic. So this document right here, you can get this on cornerstone.com. I'm going to put all the links down below so you can take a look at yourself. Take this stuff. YouTubers use this information. Okay. I found this stuff on the internet. The source is the sec.gov. So there's been 43 litigations 31% alleged as unregistered securities offer violations since 2013. So if you take a look at this, so the green is showing you the fraud in other or sales of security, fraud, and then non-fraud in the offer of sales or securities. I think we can all agree that the XRP case is a non-fraud. So they would be in litigation. And they'd be one of the eight of the 43. Okay. So let's dive into this. Okay, now here's how we're going to take a look at this. Will the XRP case be settled on December 1st, 2021? Well, if you take a look at the case was on December 22nd, 2020, 365 days from then would be December 22nd, 2021, which is coming up. The average settlement for a case with the SEC is 343 days, which would put us at December 
December or the back end of or December 1st, basically going into December 1st, 2021. But this is what I want to show you, Warriors. So there's been 43 litigations or cases since 2013. Okay. Now, what I did was is I'm diving into it. So remember, the SEC's job is to protect you. Okay. So I went through all of these cases, the 43 cases, and I pulled a sample of seven to show you how this is by design. Now, remember, you know, Charles Grasparini, you know, uh, is diving onto this case and he's looking at how it's there's a conflict of interest with Jay Clayton, with uh, Gary Gensler, with Bill Hinman, who have all moved into cryptocurrency places who are in the government, who are supposed to be protecting us, the retail investors. That's not what this is about, but it's an understanding that we know that Bitcoin and Ethereum were deemed non-security. And we know that when we buy Ripple, we are not or we buy XRP, we are not buying part of Ripple. That's a key factor. This is about a case that was seven to nine years ago, something like that. You can quote, don't quote me on that. About seven to nine years ago about them, uh, people buying XRP and them using that to build the company. That is a security because you're buying, you're putting in money to help build the company, which gives you a vested interest in the company, right? So if that was the case and that happened nine years ago, then we could just settle. Why can't we just settle and move on? Why has this been dragging on since December 22nd, 2020? Because it's to bring in a new Howey test. And it's showing that the SEC's job is not to protect retail investors. It's to move the monetary system so that Jay Clayton, so that Gary Glenser can get into place, so that Bill Hinman, so that Brian Brooks, so that even Brad Garlinghouse Warriors don't get too caught up in this stuff. Don't, what is it? Uh, da Vinci says, uh, don't date it, don't marry it, just trade it, right? Whereas don't get caught up in the bullshit, Warriors. Brad Garlinghouse may be rubbing elbows with these people, but hey, I love his cryptocurrency. I love his leadership. I love what he's doing. I think he was a catalyst and tapped to bring in a new Howey test wars because we know that they deem Bitcoin non-security. We know that Ethereum was deemed non-security. So here's why I believe that, okay? So there's been 43 litigation cases and I pulled seven samples. I went through all of them and they're almost all the same. You can do this shit yourself, Warriors, okay? So let's take a look at the seven samples with the SEC. So Securities and Exchange Commission, okay? Uh, versus John Montreal. This is an action case against an unregistered Bitcoin denominated securities exchange, Bitfunder. As an operator, Montreal, who defrauded or defrauded exchange, uh, defrauded, defrauded exchange users by misappropriating their funds and failing to disclose cyber attacks in the Bitfund system that resulted in a theft of 6,000 Bitcoins. That's protecting the retail investors. Good job. Good job, SEC. There's my manifestation alarm. There we go. There we go. I don't edit my videos, words because that's my manifestation alarm. So happy for the, oh, thank you for the steps to 1 million month income. Thank you for the steps to 1 million month, month in income. Thank you for the steps to 1 million month income. Hold it for 17 seconds. Nikola Tesla, 369, do it at 12 and then 9. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, so next case here, United States District Court, Securities and Exchange Commission. Okay, this is the plaintiff. Okay, let's take a look at here. Summary, this case arises from the defendant's illegal and fraudulent microcap stock transactions, which he affected through, among other entities, his two wholly owned businesses, organizations with a joint venture. They basically frauded and took people's money. Good job, SEC. You protected investors. Does this sound anything like the Ripple case? No, I don't think so. Okay, we got Securities and Exchange Commission against Trendon, Shavers, and Bitcoin Savings Trust. This case involves fraudulent offerings of sales of securities by Shavers and BTCST, a Bitcoin denomination Ponzi scheme founded and operated by Shavers. Good job. You protected retail investors from a Ponzi scheme. This is seven of the 43 litigations wars. You can do this stuff yourself. And if you go through them, you'll be shocked to see most of it is fraud. From at least 2012 to September 2018, the defendants have illegally offered and sold securities-based swaps to the U.S. investors through their website, iBroker, while failing to file a registered statement with the SEC. As iBroker, the CEO and sole shareholder, Brenner controls iBro and its operations. He also developed iBroker. Yep, makes sense. Good job. You protected retail investors from getting scammed. Okay. If we go right here, this one's a little bit uh, more complex. This action concerns the unregistered offering of unregistered broker activities of the security through so-called token sales or initial coin offerings by defendants ICO Box. Okay, Since 2017, ICO Box and this gentleman, I can't pronounce his name, have engaged in both unregistered offerings of securities through $14.6 million ICO Box token sale, as well as the unregistered broker activities related to securities offering by the same company, exposing thousands of investors 
investors to risky investments without providing necessary information to them. Good job. You protected the retail investor. Sample number seven. Here we go. Oh, stuff wars. Got to wake up. You got to stop believing YouTubers that are saying, oh, I got the inside source. Nobody has the inside source. Warriors, we're all being played. The commission brings this action against in-join natural diamonds investment, right? What did they do here? From no later than May 2014, the defendants have raised about $30 million from approximately 300 investors through the sales of securities in form of promissory notes and investment contracts. They basically lured investors and defendants have knowingly and recklessly materially misrepresented how they would use the investors' funds. Collectively, the defendants have misused and misappropriated $10 million of the people's money. They protected the retail investor. So as we read through these samples of cases, and you can do this stuff yourself, you'll see that this case makes no fucking sense. No sense, Warriors. But this is all by design. This could have been settled a long time ago. The average case is settled in 343 days, which will be on December 1st, 2021. We already know that Bitcoin's not a security. We already know that Ethereum's not a security. We already know that Jay Clayton's in place in the cryptocurrency. We know that Bill Hinman's in place. We know that Gary Gunther came from MIT, top MIT cryptocurrency professor. Brian Brooks came in from the OCC or came from Coinbase to the OCC to federally charter banks and thrifts be able to custody your cryptocurrency. Stop believing the bullshit. These are facts, figures, numbers, logic. XRP ain't going nowhere, warriors. It is going to be one of the most powerful bridge currencies in the world. My opinion, I don't ask you to believe what I say. I'm showing you facts. I'm not giving you bullshit. I'm not saying, oh, I, if anybody has the inside source, I do, warriors. I spent 12 years in the banking system. I was a vice president at a large Fortune 500 bank. I went to CBA executive banking school. I know how to scale banks. If anybody has the inside, I do, warriors. I do, but I'm not touting that bullshit. I'm not sitting there saying that I know the dates and I got special people send me shit all the time, high level people. And I'm not going to go out there and say, cause I don't believe a fucking word they say either. What I do is I do my own research warriors. That's how I come up with the conclusion for my family, for my warriors. So warriors, this is your time to wake up, to take the red pill, to understand you're being played warriors. It's not about mask, no mask, V, no V, C, no C. They got you arguing back and forth about left and right. Just like I feel bad for all the people that went over to where JFK was assassinated or waiting for JFK Jr. to come back. Did he come back? No, he didn't come back, warriors. He didn't come back. We're all being played. The 1% controlled 90, 97% of the wealth warriors. And they're trying to keep that 1%. And this is our opportunity to wake up, warriors. So that's why I don't ask for likes and comments. I don't want these videos to go that viral, warriors, because if there's too much attention brought this, you're not going to get the information. But I'm not asking you to believe a word I say. These are facts, figures, numbers, logic. 343 days will take us to December 2021, warriors. Will it settle on that date? I have no clue. Do I have insight? Absolutely, but I have no clue. Because I don't believe a word anybody says. I do my own research. I make my own decisions. I'm the own present CEO of my life. And you should take control of your life. This is your time to protect your family, Warriors. I love you guys. I appreciate you. If you want to get your shit together, click the link down below. Join our private Warrior Academy. All these documents will be down below. Warriors, rise. Let's go.